and so I, I guess, you know, now is kind of when, when you're coming up with your big ideas, obviously you already have some thoughts of what you want to do on water. Kind of what, what's some of the other, uh, I guess, areas or bills you have planned for, for next legis legislative session? Well, it, going kind of touching again, once on human security, I, I really want to uh, focus on One Health. It, and, and One Health, I'm not sure how familiar you are with the topic or if you've heard of it, but yeah. One Health is also an, a concept fairly new that, that focuses on how human health, uh, animal health and environmental health are all interconnected. And so if we really want to solve or figure out how to get out of this pandemic, we really need to figure out the impacts that, you know, the environment and, and, uh, and, and, and that animals and humans, how they're all intertwined in the role that they play. And so uh, we touched on that uh, a little bit this this year through Senate Bill 453, which was signed, I believe, last week. And that bill, essentially, what it, what it looks to do is to allow, um, you know, research uh, on uh, zoonotic research at CSU campuses and uh, allocate some funding for it. And so it's such a big thing. Uh, personally, I think, you know, the, I think it's something like 60% of emerging uh, diseases off come from jump from animal to, to human right. and so as uh, we've all learned <laughs> as we've all learned exactly yeah. as we all have learned and and if we really want to um change that if we really want to address i mean look it's going to become more and more of an issue and it already has been an issue we just haven't really seen how it's all kind of interconnected and, and tied together and so if we really want to look at the the future uh, or prevent the next pandemic we really have to start looking and doing more zoonotic research. And so uh, I think that we need to be doing that at all levels right. of, of the education system. And currently a lot of the research is focused to UCs. And so uh, this bill is, is great because it just, it looks into the diseases that are found in, in, in animals that could spread to humans, but really diseases on animals and diseases on crops that they, they, they're also a it, it's also a food security issue because you have a disease that, that's found on a crop it could essentially take out the entire crop uh and of course that we don't need that right. in this time when our food supply chain is unstable and and so we need to make sure that we we prevent diseases and outbreaks on 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 crops on animals because at the end of the day they all have an impact on humans uh, and once again, I think that's that's how it's all ties into human security and, and one health is is an area where I plan it to continue to focus on. And quite frankly, there's there hasn't been a lot of focus in on agriculture and and just the role that agriculture plays in in, in our everyday lives. And so.